When people think about massive countries, Brazil might come to mind, but many people don't know just how massive the country really is. Brazil is larger than the entire continental US, has the same distance from west to east as from Ireland to Kazakhstan, and is bigger than the entire continent of Australia. Its largest state, Amazonas, would be the 18th largest country on Earth if it were independent. Because of this size, the nation has been given a significant advantage when it comes to space and doing things. However, in global politics, Brazil is not seen as a superpower, but rather sometimes as a great power, but more often as a regional power in South America. Still, Brazil has a lot of potential, and could Brazil's massive land area and population eventually bring the country to become a potential superpower in the future? First, it's important to look at the geography of Brazil. Looking at climate zones, the northern states of Amazonas, Acre, Roraima, and Pará largely have an equatorial climate with year-round monsoon rains. This climate usually leads to massive rainforest growth, as can be seen with the world-famous Amazon rainforest. Bordering that is a regular monsoon climate, found in eastern Pará, Amapá, and Rondônia. This climate is mostly a transition climate between the year-round rain of the equatorial climate and the wet and dry seasons of a tropical savanna climate seen throughout most of the country. In the southern states of Rio Grande do Sul, Santa Catarina, Paraná, and São Paulo, a subtropical climate is seen with hot summers and cooler winters, but generally not cold enough for substantial snowfall. But along the eastern coast of the country, there is a large strip of land that has a subtropical highland climate with temperate conditions year-round. This corresponds to the Brazilian highlands, and this brings us to the first problem that Brazil faces. Much of its territory is separated from its major population centers by these mountainous regions. São Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Salvador, and Porto Alegre, some of Brazil's most major cities, see themselves on the coastal side of these highland regions. Though agriculture is present on the coast, the agricultural potential of the Cerrado, the eco-region comprising most of central Brazil, is massive. With a potentially year-round growing season, and with expanded potential in the Amazon River Basin, if these lands become more developed and populated, Brazil could see an agricultural revolution and could become an agricultural superproducer. Currently, 190 million out of the total 210 million people in Brazil live in the Brazilian highlands or on the coastal region adjacent to it. The most recent development around the Cerrado region of the country is in fact the capital of the country, Brasilia. Completed in 1960, the city was built to replace Rio de Janeiro as the capital, and now can serve as a starting location for people wanting to go to the interior of the country. In the northwest of the country, the Amazon rainforest provides a lot of lumber for the country to produce, and Brazil could also have a massive exporting of the product. However, Brazil would need to be careful about the limited resources provided by the forest, as it covers a finite area, and the nation could also invest in regrowing parts of the forest to ensure a continued supply of lumber for the future and to rebuild ecosystems that could be lost during deforestation. Secondly, I will expand more on the population and economy of the country and how that will affect the nation's road towards achieving a potential status of superpower. The current population in 2020 of Brazil, as previously mentioned, is around 210 million. The growth rate on average in the country is around 1% per year, meaning that the population expands about 2 million people per year. Demographics for the country could be a challenge in the future, however, as with many countries with a high to very high human development index, Brazil suffers from a low fertility rate, with only 1.74 births per woman on average recorded in 2017. Yet, the country still has a massive population, enough to drive the country to global power. However, the economic problems and disparity Brazil faces could pose another problem. The gross national product of the nation in 2020 was estimated to be about $1.893 trillion, and adjusted for purchasing power parity, that rate per capita is around $17,000 per person. Most developed economies today have a GDP per capita upwards of $30,000 and have much less wealth inequality. Brazil consistently ranks poorly in wealth inequality scores and ranks as the 10th most unequal country overall by the Gini coefficient. 
This can be seen with the massive urban development in places like Rio de Janeiro, immediately bordered by favelas, extremely impoverished, compact, and crime-ridden suburban housing. A solution to this poverty could be the construction of new cities in the middle of the country and developing the land there which would give the even more economic benefits discussed earlier. Brand new cities could give temporary jobs to building up the cities, and after the construction is complete, work could transition into keeping the new cities functional, and cultivating the land around the new cities. The final thing to discuss is one of Brazil's major advantages, and this has to do with its geographic isolation from other countries. One of the biggest stories to the success of the United States was how it was geographically isolated from other powerful and hostile nations by oceans on either side of it, and its neighbors, Canada and Mexico, were for the most part friendly, but also not as militarily powerful. Brazil has this same advantage at its position in South America. It is by far the most populous country, and has the largest area on the continent, with around half of the South American population and just under half the surface area. Most of its neighbors are generally peaceful, but if they were to become belligerent, Brazil would have no problem defending itself. It also has great geographical distance from any other nation of similar population. The closest nation of a larger population than Brazil is the United States, but relations between the two countries are spectacular, and they are military allies. In this sense of geography, Brazil has the deck stacked in her favor. Brazil, by many accounts, is considered a potential superpower among the likes of Russia, the European Union, India, and China. Unlike these countries, Brazil has the gift of geographic separation and a large amount of land still yet to be put to its full economic potential. However, it struggles with a large income disparity, low fertility rate, and high crime rate, not seen in other nations of such size. Even with these potential challenges, the opportunities Brazil has to overcome these challenges by expanding its lumber and agricultural sectors and spreading out its population to new locations create millions of new jobs and much more adequate housing can eventually triumph, and Brazil can see a clear path to position of global power. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to check out my playlist on other geopolitical topics, and also my top 10 countries in the United Kingdom video. Bye!